Okay. Hey, Scott. Hey, Leslie. How are you? I am doing well. How are you? Good. Oh, very good. Yeah. Thank. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for the opportunity to drop some info on you and your customers. And yeah, always appreciate the the chance to help. Good. Yeah. So I invited you on here. I wanted to ask you to explain more about bridge loans because this is a topic that is coming up more and more. So, um, like first, just do you want to introduce yourself and just tell tell people who you are and what you do? Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. So, yeah, my name is Scott Davis. I'm with Cross Country Mortgage, and um, yeah, I'm a loan officer. I guess it's you know fancy titles aside, but I've been doing this since 1990, and uh, you know, so I've been through. Uh, this is not my first uh, interesting market. I've been doing this for a long time. Seen lots of different markets, uh, both up and down. And so, while each market is, you know, sometimes a little different, um, a lot of experience in. Uh, adapting uh, to the markets to serve our customers uh, the best that we can. And I think this is a great you know, topic of ways that we need to adapt uh, to help our customers uh, get their offers accepted. And just a little back, so Cross Country yeah. Mortgage, we're a privately owned mortgage banker, licensed in all 50 states. We did about 54 billion last year as a company. Uh, we sell direct to Fannie and Freddie, uh, as well as uh, to HUD for uh, you know, kind of FHA and the VA product. And we've got a super, super uh, uh, broad and uh, very deep jumbo product mix as well. So uh, right. yeah, yeah. yeah and we to help and yeah, whatever I can do. Yeah, and we I just closed a deal and you had loan docs in for your buyer. What, it was like 10 days early or something. Well, I don't want to brag, but it was <laughs> yeah. like two weeks early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so help take okay. the pressure off for everybody. And I'm sure your sellers are relieved as it well. Does. Yeah. It does. It just makes it a really smooth finish. Yeah. Okay. okay. So first question really is just explain to us what is a bridge loan? No, absolutely. So, I mean, by definition, a bridge loan is, you know, short term or interim financing. And one way to think about it is you've got to get from A to B, right? So the, the bridge loan is the bridge that kind of helps bridge that gap. And there's a variety of different uh, uh, bridge loans or, or short term interim financing. And uh, mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll talk specifically about kind of what is titled, you know, bridge loan, and then we can touch on a few other uh, options as well. So, okay. Yeah. So why do you see people most often use bridge loans? Well, I think in this market right now, uh, it gives uh, buyers the opportunity to buy the new house before they've sold their current property. And uh, part of that is, is with most people, uh, you know, to buy that new house, they've got, they need the equity out of their current property as down payment for the new property. So it allows them to tap into that equity without selling the current property, without making a contingent offer. And mm -hmm. because of how competitive it is, um, you know, a lot of sellers aren't accepting contingent offers, or I like kind of how, how you put it the other day on the phone was, or it'll, you don't have to buy yourself out of a contingent offer. Yeah. Meaning, you know, you can make a non-contingent offer or if a contingent offer, you may have to offer 20, 30, 40, $50,000 more to get the seller's attention. And right, so, totally. Yeah, yeah so I the, tell my the, clients the, that you have to buy the contingency because you have to pay. Yeah, so the nominal cost of a bridge <laughs> loan, it. yeah, the nominal cost of a bridge loan is going to be much, much less expensive than having to buy yourself out of that contingency. Right, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's also come up where the two closing dates don't line up well. Like even if someone already has sold their house, um, but the closing date on that, for some reason, needs to be after the closing date on their purchase. Right. So like that can get them through the two. So how does that work with the bridge loan? So um, the, yeah, so the bridge loan um, is uh, the product that we have in-house. Uh, it's really, it's it's a second mortgage on the on their departing residence. So the house they currently live in, uh, it would be a second mortgage. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's because it's short-term financing, it, it's a four-month note. Okay. And, um, you know, it can go up to 85% of the value. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, 80, you know, the appraised value minus the, the first mortgage, you know, up to 85% and they can tap that equity. Um, there are, uh, the monthly payments are built in, uh, to the loan amount. So the, the customer doesn't have to make monthly payments on top. Oh, okay. And, uh, so, if, you know, for example, I'm going to use round numbers, but if the, yeah. if the bridge loans, a hundred thousand dollars, gross loan amount and the monthly payments are a thousand dollars a month over four months um, you know the borrowers would net ninety six thousand dollars off of the hundred thousand uh, dollar minus any additional yeah. closing costs yeah and right. then when the okay. property sells when they sell their property then just like any other sale any all the underlying liens are paid off at the time of sale gotcha so it just comes out of the seller's net 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. they're just tapping that equity early is really what it is. Yeah, fantastic. Um, I think that's a pretty common misconception is that people think that they'll be paying like out of pocket for two mortgages then. Um, yeah, there's correct. So uh, they're still going to have to make payments on their other property, the first mortgage, uh -huh. the bridge loan piece. There, there's no monthly payments. Now to qualify for a bridge loan, um, you, you still have to qualify for the new mortgage payment, their old mortgage payment. And we do calculate the interest only payment on that bridge loan and the qualifying for the new mortgage, but they're not making any of those payments out of pocket. Gotcha. Okay. So we've heard about benefits of bridge loans. What would you say are some drawbacks? Um, I, I think, I think the drawback might be a little bit, um, it, you know, it is a tad more difficult to qualify for the new mortgage just because you've got to carry potentially three mortgage payments. But uh, I mean, but it would be like that regardless if you weren't getting a bridge loan and you were buying the current property um, without selling the old one. Now, just a little caveat is, you know, kind of per conforming guidelines, if their current property does become under contract before the new loan closes and it's under contract without contingencies, then we don't need to hit them for those payments. So um, there aren't there aren't a ton of drawbacks that the bridge loans are not super expensive. In the past, they used to be very expensive mm -hmm. because they were kind of third party lenders. And because it's short term financing, they had to make their money up front. So right. they, kind of, you know, they were a little more expensive. But nowadays, I mean, to be honest with you, we're doing the bridge loan really so that we can also get that purchase money loan on the next side. So yeah, they're not, they're not very expensive. Um, um, you know, it just kind of covers our overhead and I mean, to be very transparent, I don't make any money in the bridge loan. Uh -huh. uh, again, I'm just doing it as a courtesy uh, for the customer and to help them secure the new purchase. Right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Um, and then in terms of, we've already talked about what the payments are like in terms of, that it's coming out of their net, right? So they're not making that payment on the bridge loan at that time, but what are the closing costs? So, uh, I mean, uh, this is just our product. I can't speak to all the products out mm -hmm. there, but um, uh, you know, we, we have a one point origination fee, okay. uh, you know, a, a limited title policy. So you don't need a full title policy, but a limited title policy, which I think those are maybe a couple of $300. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, uh, Gosh, I mean, we, we don't charge processing or underwriting fees. Yeah. And then, you know, the interest are, is all rolled into it. So they're not uh, yeah. not super expensive. Oh, and then if um, we we would still do an appraisal valuation, whether uh -huh. it's a, BP, a BPO or a drive-by appraisal, and there's a nominal charge for that. But, uh, okay. you know, I, I think a, a misconception is, is that I mean, it's still a second mortgage, right? Mm -hmm. So you still have you still have some appropriate closing costs. Um, but again, they're, they're much, much less expensive nowadays than they were in the past. Than they were, yeah. Yeah. And then what are the, what's the interest rate like on a bridge loan? Right now, our current rate is uh, 599. Um, so okay. again, it's, it's uh, um, the rate's super competitive. <laughs> and it's kind of, you know, conforming rates have, have ticked up a little bit. So the bridge yeah. loan financing is, uh, um, you know, it's, it, it's not a hard money loan, where again, I think those are some of the misconceptions. Right, okay. So the, Interest rate on it is going to be a little bit higher, but that makes sense because you're borrowing money for a shorter period of time. Yeah. And it's yeah. interest only payments and you're going to have it for less than four months. And in this market, you probably sell your house pretty quick. So again, yeah. these fees um, are, are uh, much less expensive than again, having to buy yourself out of a contingency. Yeah, totally. And really like for my clients that are buyers of the house to sell, like it's so tricky to get their offers accepted because you can't compete with people who don't have a contingency. The seller will choose the non-contingent offer every time. And if the seller has, if that seller is already under contract also, then they can't accept a contingent offer per right. their contract. <laughs> so it, it just creates this domino effect. Yeah, no, I think it's, I think it's a great, uh, I think it's a great tool. And it, uh, again, will I mean, the, whatever we can do to help, you know, our customers uh, get those offers accepted is all good. Okay. And then um, one other question I had, we've already talked about the equity. We already know that the bridge loan is secured against the, the house that you currently own. What's the worst case scenario if you can't sell your current house? Like you set this up, you have four months to sell your current house until your note is due. Uh, what happens if you don't? Well, I, again, it, there'll be a balloon payment in four months. So, I mean, I think a contingency plan would be... Um, um, you know, backing up with a line of credit. And, and I mean, to be honest with you, we've just rolled these products out. So we haven't, we haven't gotten to the point of what happens necessarily if, yeah. if, uh, if it doesn't. But I think that, um, 
um, I, I think that the, the plan needs to be that, you know, your house is probably going to be listed pretty quickly upon yeah. the offer getting accepted. And, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, the one, because we only go up to 85% of the value, you know, there, there, there is some room there depending on what the market does, but, uh, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's other, there are other ways to, to put together interim financing, um, you know, go get a line of credit on your house now and use that as your bridge loan. Uh, that maybe mm -hmm. doesn't have that short term uh, uh, balloon payment. Right. So, um, right. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the intent, the intent is to sell, obviously. Right. The intent is to sell. Um, and I haven't seen, I mean, the only homes that are staying on market for a significant period of time right now are like massively overpriced. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Not, not usually an issue. No. If a seller is motivated, like they can sell it if the price is right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you talked about HELOCs. Are there, are there other options besides bridge loans? Yeah. I mean, you know, again, it's uh, bridge loan is, is a kind of a, a generalized term, but for other, other ways to, to put together some short-term or interim financing. Yeah. We get the HELOC in place. You know, some people are borrowing against 401ks. Uh -huh. um, you know, people are getting gift funds uh, for down payment. And then again, you know, once you sell your house, then, um, you know, you can pay off uh, the, the HELOC, you can pay off uh, you know, 401k loans and stuff like that. So uh, okay. the key though is, is doing this now before you start looking. So you've got, you right. have everything set, uh, yeah. whether it's a bridge loan or a HELOC, we can facilitate HELOCs as well. So yeah. uh, the, key, uh, the key is, is, is uh, getting started sooner than later. So you've got all your ducks in a row. Right. And I think that is the part, like usually where my clients end up going to bridge loans. It's like after they've already lost a couple of times, <laughs> like they have seen the house that they love, you know, sell to someone else and they didn't have the bridge loan lined up in time. So right. Um, getting it done, if you have a house to sell, getting this in place and having these conversations and getting pre-approved with the bridge loan before you start shopping is going to be pretty critical. Pretty yeah. You don't want to be looking at your plan B option mid transaction, and then you're scrambling and then you run into timing issues and stress. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. think, think of it as, as you know, you're, you're getting peace of mind also up front. Right. Totally. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, you. I will put your contact information in the description below so that, yeah. um, Anybody watching this video can reach out to you directly. And yeah, hope you have an awesome day. Thanks. Yeah, thanks thank so you much. so much. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye.